Hey guys, welcome to my video and my FabFitFun Spring 2020 unboxing. So I got the pink FabFitFun box. Pink is not my favorite color, it's probably my least favorite color, but there are some very gorgeous butterflies all over this. I do reuse my boxes, so we'll see if I reuse this one, just because I'm not a pink girl. That's just not who I am. Right off the top, we have our little handy dandy spring 2020 guide. It's a little magazine, it's very magazine-like. There's always like a horoscope thing in here, it talks about some of the products. It also talks about the charity, um, that they are partnered with and this time it's with Gina Rodriguez. It's a charity that she chose. I think it's Dress to Impress, Dress for Success. Of course our favorite page is the What's in the Box page. This time they did something very different. Usually everybody gets the same like last two or three items in their box. This time it is randomly selected for you and there's a lot of options and it's based on your previous preferences, I believe. I'm not exactly sure how they know my preferences, but we'll see when we go through this box. And I'm most worried that I'm gonna see something else listed and have major FOMO, like I wish I would've got that. So we'll see, hopefully the one in the list is the one that I would've picked. I feel better when I only had one choice than when there's multiple choices and the one I got is wrong. So I'm gonna start with things that all members could select. Another thing they did differently in this box is that they had throwback items. You would not get throwback items unless you're either a new member and it wasn't in a past box of yours or you were a previous member and you selected it. That is, I think, the rules based on the community. It was kind of hard to tell, but I think if you were new, you were past the time when that box was out, you might get it randomly. Otherwise, you have to select it. And I did just that. I did select it. I also selected the mystery item. So when we get to that, we'll see what that is. So in the first section, there were six items you could select from. I selected the set of three indigo tie-dye bowls by West Elm. A friend of mine got it in her box, so even though this is a throwback, I had envy of her bowls when I saw them. They are small, but they're cute. So rather than pick something that I wasn't gonna know the quality, I picked something that I was. You have probably seen them on other unboxings because I believe, I think this was from the summer 2019 box. So here's a cute one for like dips. Then you have kind of like maybe a ice cream style size. And then maybe like fruit in this one, like some grapes or something like that. So you have three different sizes. I love the print on them. I think they're so gorgeous. They're definitely good quality, and they're a brand that I know and trust, West Elm. So for the second category, I also selected this item. This is the 111 Skin Rose Gold Radiance Booster. I don't have this one. I ha did get their anti-blemish. I do have their vitamin C, and I have the Rose Gold Mask. So the reason I got this is because I love the Rose Gold Mask so much that I figured having the serum that goes with the masks would also be something I loved. And it has some shimmer in it. I don't think you would be able to see it on camera, but I think it would like glow underneath your foundation probably, or you could mix it into your foundation to give it kind of like a dewy appearance. This is water-based, it's paraffin and silicone free, and it also has rose water, which is the, the primary scent. It's like a rose extract and it does have fragrance. So if you are avoiding fragrance on your face, then this might not be the product for you. I usually avoid fragrance on my face, but for one-on-one -on -one skin, I sometimes make exceptions. For section number three, I told FabFitFun surprise me. Surprise me means out of all the items that I see here, you guys can pick for me. And what I got is the Way China Herbal Beauty 2-in-1 Purifying and Glow Mask Collection. This is a great item for me. I love skincare, so if they picked it based on my preferences, past preferences, they definitely did a good job. It comes with four purifying mud masks and four Ready Glow Exfoliating Masks. I always apply my masks with a brush, so it has this really gorgeous brush that also came in here. 
for these Ready Glow exfoliating masks. They have sugar in them and it is a brown sugar Ready Glow exfoliating mask. For the purifying mud mask, this has golden root purifying mud mask. So it has kaolin in it, which is the mud mask part of it. It also has golden root, which is where its name comes from. And it has green tea leaf extract. There's some really good things in here that I'm excited to try. We're moving on to the products that only select members could customize. So the first three products that I showed, any member quarterly or annually can customize that. For the next one, only annual select members. You have to pay annually to customize it. I chose Surprise Me for this one, so it didn't really matter. In the fourth section, I also said Surprise Me. There were four options, and it looks like I got the hairbrush. This is Aria Beauty. It's pretty big, bigger than I thought from looking at the pictures. I would say it's really lightweight too. It has a nice like gold finish to it. Paddle brush. I like it. So it says that it has extended bristles. I don't know what that means. They look pretty normal to me, but it says that is for detangling and for when you're blow drying your hair, it's ideal for blow drying. So the next section, section five had six choices. For the fifth item, I don't even see it on this list here, and maybe I'm just missing it. It's like a page turn thing, who knows. But it is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. If you don't know, Urban Decay also, if you see their Urban Decay setting spray, it also says by Scandinavia on it, so it should be a similar formula to that. So if you really do your makeup a lot and you want it to last all day, this is a great product to have. That's why I got it. For the last three items, there were multiple choices, and I'm gonna put them up on the screen because I don't think everyone has seen all of them yet, but I don't know. For six, there's two options. And the one that I got is the This Works Deep Sleep Body Cocoon. It's a multitasking beauty sleep savior for better nights and brighter mornings. So this is also water-based, has glycerin, has caprylic triglyceride, which is part coconut oil, part glycerin. Um, a lot of stuff in here, shea butter, castor seed oil. There's a lot of good ingredients in here. There's some ingredients that I normally do avoid. There's beeswax, which I don't like to put on my body, and I also don't like to purchase products that aren't vegan. But other than that, there's nothing too crazy that I am like, I avoid at all costs. And it says it supports sleep, and skin wellness at night. So I'm not 100% sure how it supports sleep. I'm guessing there's something in the scent that is calming. Looking at my options for number six, I would have picked the Wish mask. So there is my first FOMO where I got the body lotion sleep thing and they're supposed to be doing it based on me as a human, as a person, and my previous preferences, that would not have been my previous preference. I definitely prefer skincare that goes on your face. That's what I would choose. So I don't know how accurate they are at selecting items for everyone or where their information is coming from, but that's the first one where I would not choose them. We need to smell this. Yeah, it smells really herbal and it definitely has lavender. Let's check those ingredients. It has lavender oil in it, so that's probably the two-in-one part. It soaks into your skin, but it also calms you because of the lavender scent. It has a great scent. If you love lavender, I personally do love lavender, and I like to have lavender in my skincare products. So for me, that's a win, but I still would have picked the other guy. For number seven, there were three options, and the one that I got are the cheek and tonic or chicken tonic i don't know silicone straws i do actually love using straws that are good for the environment oh it comes with like a little container so i guess you can smoosh this straw and keep it in here i have a lot of the final straw i think we would just like smoosh it up maybe and then put this on it and now it's travel go guy. Okay. It's just that the other solution I have for on the go is better. For group seven, 
they had the mascara, this, or a sponge gel. I really do love sponge gel, but I have like so many of them right now that this probably is a better option for me. I guess if they were going by my previous preferences and things that I bought or things that they think based on previous selections I've made in customization, they're probably pretty close on this and I'm not like super FOMO about the other ones. In section eight, there are three items and I ended up getting the Winky Luxe Rainbow Balm. This is definitely not what I would choose. However, I do think this is a vegan product and looking for beeswax here. So it does have a vegan wax. It does not contain beeswax. It looks like this. It has a pineapple scent and we're gonna use it on our hand. So it gives me like a light pinky orange color and I think it changes based on your pH. I already have something on my lips, but we can put it over my lips. So that is the color that I get on my lips. It is a universal cherry pink shade, but it's pH matching. So it probably slightly adjusts, but stays that cherry pink color. It says you can use it on your lips or your cheeks as a blush. And it's supposed to have a pineapple flavor. It does have a slight pineapple scent, but I do not taste any pineapple flavor on my lips. So that was the entire box that I customized. However, I did include an additional item in my customization because I wanted to see what the mystery item was. So I selected a mystery item. It would be in this big box that also contains all of my add-ons. So I'm gonna do a little search for it because I know what my add-ons were and then I will bring it out and we'll talk about what the mystery item was. So I found my mystery item. I am really not happy with it because I already got one and the last time that I got it, I didn't want it either. I was only getting it as part of a bundle so I could get more 111 skin masks when they had the rose gold 111 skin masks as add-ons. So it is the Laura Geller High Def Glow Illuminator Duo Heart of Gold. This is what it looks like. Like I said, I already have this. I think it's okay. I don't like love, love it from the one that I got already. So I will put this in a giveaway. It's not gonna be like the coolest thing to get in a giveaway, but I don't need two of them. So this will definitely go when I hit the 2000 subscribers, it'll go into that giveaway. That's it, that's my spring 2020 box. It is not my favorite box. It is also not my least favorite box. So you win some, you lose some. I really am unhappy with my mystery item, which was completely my fault because I decided to add that as an add-on. Hopefully the other people who get the mystery item are happy with it. It's a little too long to post the unboxing and the add-ons all in one video, so you can catch my add-ons video tomorrow, everything I selected, what my thoughts are on it. And if that video is already posted, then it'll be linked down below, but obviously it's not gonna be posted on the day that I post this video. So I'll leave a little space to link it down in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, please make sure to subscribe and come back for that video tomorrow. And if you have any comments, questions, whatever about this box, I want to know what they are, so make sure you're putting those in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye!